Hey guys, welcome to Mobile Creators, giving you the tips, tricks, and tools to create awesome content on nothing but your smartphone. So, if you are into smartphone filmmaking, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Today's video, we are doing a Filmic Pro tutorial, so let's just jump right into it. You have the square box on the screen, which will control your focus, and the circle will control the exposure, and you can move wherever those you want simultaneously. Next, in the bottom left section, we have the color options, like color temperature. You can just grab that dot in that square and move it around manually to set it to whatever you like. Uh, otherwise, on the bottom, there are presets. Uh, for example, there's like sunny, cloudy, fluorescent, some other presets. There's also an automatic mode. I would not recommend using it just because it'll start changing in the middle of your video. You probably want it set either manually or on a preset there. Next, we have the color presets, like natural, dynamic, flat, and log version 2. These will cost you an extra 8 to $10 besides just buying the app, but it can be really helpful. Look at Samuel's hair there in dynamic, and now in log version 2. There's a lot more detail in log. It'll help you with color grading and whatnot. I would definitely pay the extra 8 or $10 for log version 2. Uh, underneath that, you got the shadow and highlight bars. You can mess around with those if you so choose. And then the next section we've got is the saturation and vibrance, which I would not recommend using. Uh, you can always color grade in LumaFusion, which if you don't know how to color grade on Android or your Apple device, go watch our video. It is linked down below, but it's there if you need to use it. Next, let's click right next to the colors and click on that button. That's going to pull up shutter, ISO, focus, and zoom. Which, if you just use that bar on the left, it'll adjust the exposure for both ISO and shutter. If you actually click on just one of them, it'll turn red and it'll lock it into place. So now you can just adjust the shutter without adjusting the ISO. Click on the shutter, it'll turn red and lock, and then you can just adjust the ISO so you can really get detailed and make sure you have your shutter and your ISO right. On the right side, you've got focus, so you can adjust that and be able to pull focus right on your phone. And then there is also the zoom button, which we can click on, and you can zoom in and out if you want. However, that will be digital zoom, so it's totes up to you if you want to use that. And as you can see, it's locked into place. It's turned red. But you can unlock it if you want by just tapping on it. It'll turn white again. And now it's kind of in a automatic type mode and it's not permanently set. Next, let's click, let's click on settings and pull that up here. So let's click on resolution. And you have HD 1080p there, but you can adjust that to whatever you want, you know, 2K, 3K, 4K, you know, etc. But usually better just to shoot in 1080p. Underneath that, you have the bit rate. So Filmic Extreme is going to give you the highest quality. Economy is going to give you the lowest quality of that 1080p. So I like Filmic Extreme. And then you can adjust the aspect ratio. So you can actually add on, you know, video for Instagram, or you can even put on those black bars that make it look really cinematic, like the two by 39 by one, which I'm going to leave on because I love it. Next, we have frame rate. So you can adjust your frame rate there to slow motion or 60 frames. Uh, and then you can also go to time lapse. If you wanted to take time lapse, you can adjust the time lapse intervals there, which is pretty cool. Next, let's go into audio, and here you can adjust which microphone's recording, the audio file, or add a Bluetooth microphone. Hardware, we're going to go into next, which you can turn on Osmo Mobile, your movie, Cinema Robot, different things like that. Uh, outside of that, we have stabilization. Make sure that's turned on. I learned the hardware and didn't have it on once and filmed the whole thing, so make sure stabilization's on. You can also turn on and off the guide, the 3x3 three three grid. Helps you keep the rule of thirds going, so I would encourage you to keep it on. Next, there is Torch. So you can turn on and off your flashlight for filmmaking and change its brightness, which could be useful. And there's also the camera flip around thing, so you can flip around. Woo, I'm on video. Wow, yeah, woo. And you can flip the camera around, which is that. And that pretty much wraps up our tutorial. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, be sure to go down in the link in the descriptions and check out our other content, whether you're an iPhone or Android maker. Uh, we've got videos for you. So thanks for watching. I'm going to see you guys in the next video.